Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to score an asymmetrical pattern on our bread. It has stars on both sides and kind of an S shape. So for that I'm going to use my uh, spray bottle, my pastry brush and my circular pastry cutters and of course my lamb to uh, score the bread. Let's transfer the bread in onto the parchment paper and onto my cake stand. Um, and then we'll spray the loaf with water and then dust it with flour. And the flour will be our white canvas for our pattern. So I'm using a toothpick to do two S-shape outlines and that will be the middle of the loaf. And I'm going to mark circles on opposite sides of that S-shape. Then I'll use the piping tip to mark the center of that circle. So as I'm going to score star patterns in the middle of this circle, I'm going to outline where the star kind of wings will be with my toothpick. So that's eight lines in each circle. Before I move with my scoring any further, I think I need to add another line, um, an S-shaped line and then another nested S-shaped line which will connect the circle to the largest shape. It's just a preference. So this was really a very much of an improvisation for me as I went on the pattern kind of evolved. I'm going to zoom in here and show you how the scoring went on. So I went over the outlined um, lines and I scored the middles of each um, star petal and then I added um, kind of tips of the petal itself. So you don't want these to be too deep the scores and the reason is because you don't you just want them to kind of be visible and well-defined score marks. When you score for the ear or when you score a pattern that you want to stand out and kind of rise over the bread itself, um, then you go score very deep at an angle. But for me, the goal is to have a beautiful kind of star-shaped petal and that's it. And um, that's why I'm doing, I'm working slowly and I'm doing short and shallow score marks. Uh, now, as you see, I am going and um, kind of marking a wheat husk pattern um, along the nestled S shape. If you have uh, one of the angular lambs, this might work well. Um, or you could use um, short handheld uh, lamb as well. Again, you don't need the score marks to be too deep just do short shallow ones but move slowly because you do not want them to kind of intersect because when it bakes uh, it might tear up the bread expands and it might tear up and kind of ruin your pattern now you see why i did um, three lines here um, initially the s-shaped lines because my goal was to um, have a defined kind of middle of the loaf um, because I like when the ear of the bread is becomes also part of the pattern. I'm speeding up here but when you do this please go through it slowly. I also keep in mind that I'm going to add another wheat husk and it's important for me that these shapes and score marks do not intersect or do not come even close to each other because I do not want to ruin the pattern. Go with whatever speed you're comfortable with and if you've done this before then it would be easier for you to understand your own pace and know where to go deep and where to go slow. Mm -hmm. 
It's time to finish scoring the second star pattern as well. And then we can do the final score for the ear and then bake this bread. I'm planning to bake this in my Challenger bread pan and that one I have um, preheated it for about an hour at 500 degrees and then when I load the bread I lower it to 430 bake it covered for 20 minutes and then uncover and then bake it at 400 degrees for another 20 minutes so as you see, I'm scoring the middle ear very carefully and very slowly because I want to make sure that I do not intersect with my main pattern. And frankly, as I was scoring this, I wasn't quite sure whether I was successful or not because the pattern is so tight. There you have it. The asymmetrical shaped score with two star pattern nestled on the opposite sides um, ready to bake and the final bread looks gorgeous the pattern turned out great no seams or score marks intersected or split and the stars look great and very well defined and the wheat husks add a beautiful nuance to the rest of the bread if you like this tutorial, I hope that you will click like and subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos. And if you're on Instagram, um, please follow me for my daily posts and scoring tutorials. Please continue to score art on your loaf and I'll see you soon.